Okay, so here it is. Wednesday night. It's been a couple couple of weeks, probably a couple of Wednesdays have passed since I've done this, but uh, you know what? I'm doing it again. And uh, I'm going to call this, uh, this must be stupid things Brent does on Wednesday day because, man, some things just seem kind of stupid today for me, as in some of the stupid things I did. So um, just two things real quick. Um, we've been having some problems with the flowers in the front of the church and as in dying and I've been pruning them and doing stuff like that thinking I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing but probably I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing and it's just a real struggle and so as I was downstairs in the church today I was cleaning out the furnace area um, it is the end of October pretty soon we're gonna have to throw the heater on uh, as winter is coming so I'm just kind of sweeping out and cleaning out the furnace room and as I'm doing that um, I kind of look up on the wall and I go, wow, something's messed up with the sprinkler uh, timer setting. And I look over there and it looks like it's in the off position. So I have to run upstairs, get a flashlight. And sure enough, everything is off. And I'm like, what in the world? And I'm wondering, did I, it's probably something I did. I probably had a, a water leak problem at one time that I was fixing or I was doing, uh, 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 sometimes people come and they, they kick over our sprinkler heads and stuff like that because it's right there on the corner. And so there's probably a, a fix I was doing and I turned the water off or I was testing and I, or I noticed that it was doing 5.30 in the afternoon instead of 5.30 in the morning, whatever, more than likely, probably me. And I probably turned it off and that is why the plants are dying, stupid number one. So anyways, Yes, it's on. Yes, it's set to do it. Hopefully those plants will come back. Who knows? Um, if, you're, I'm, if you're praying for, for our church, pray that, that plants come back, that, the, that I did not kill them, and that they will come back. Stupid thing number two. I, have you guys ever done stupid gardening things? I mean, this is like a whole gardening day, I guess, because uh, mowing the lawn. Um, there was one year I was using the weed whacker, and you know with those nylon strips and stuff and it, doing it the way you're supposed to do it right in shorts in uh sunglasses in flip-flops and uh i what did i do i um uh, i went to um plug it in because it's electric and i went to plug it in and it's stupid here ready i'm holding onto the handle plugging it in and yeah when you're holding the handle I actually held it in the on position and it began to spin and it began to just wrap around my leg and just cut me up pretty good. And, you know, for it's like uh, when, when you're doing stupid Brent things, you're like, wow. And then all of a sudden you release after it's already whacked your leg a few times. And so and all the grandkids remember that. So, hey, remember what Papa did? And so. Um, today I'm still doing some yard work over at the parsonage where we live and uh, and there's this one tree bush and so I'm trying to to trim it down for fall and the back side um, man, we got these these really nice neighbors behind our house and uh, like the kids kick a ball over or anything like that they throw it back over they, the kids say thank you and talk to the neighbors and so pretty nice area right there with that but so what i'm trying to do is i'm going to try and whack the top of this bush tree down and not have this stuff fall in their yard well first of all um thank you god for creating these bush trees that have thorns about that long on them and so now i'm trying to not grab thorns i'm trying to one-handed with a weed a uh, 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 hedge trimmer whack that bush tree down hold on to the uh, the falling branches so they don't go into their really really nice yard and something happened and i don't know what i did but as i'm holding on the hedge trimmer or something like that and and it's i'm, I'm oh yeah i'm on a very tall ladder i'm leaning i'm doing everything wrong okay i know or everything's stupid and so um, all of a sudden that hedge trimmer caught my finger and it's one of those things where like, bam, ah, and 
And I look down, I see my finger is still there. Blood's just starting to drip. I'm like, oh, man, so now I got to climb down this ladder, put down the hedge trimmer, climb down this ladder, get into the house and stop the bleeding while not hyperventilating, not throwing up, not fainting from my own blood, all of that. And just thinking stupid, 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 stupid. And so, yes, the Band-Aid is much smaller than the pain. Now, it, it's painful. Um, yes, I now the smart things I've done is the antibiotic and stuff like that. But um, the besides the stupid of cutting my finger like a knife blade uh, is the, how stupid I feel with my pride. And so, man, it just so messed up hey sarah <laughs> oh man we i miss you too man and uh connie we all talk about uh how all you guys and stuff and everybody misses you um hopefully things are still you're still in oklahoma i believe hopefully things are going well for you out there it's good to see you um uh, always on my mind you and your kids so um uh, uh just cuties anyways so yeah, my pride, stupid things I do. Uh, I'm, I call it stupid Brent Monday or Wednesday because it's probably no one else does stupid things. That's how we'll go at it. And so, um, yeah, all is well. Hopefully things are going to get better and better, uh, that way as in plants will grow. I will go back to trimming that stupid bush some more and, uh, <laughs> stupid bush on stupid Wednesday. Let's get off of stupid for a moment and just go like this route. Um, stupid bears. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm still rooting for the bears. I have to say this. You ready? Um, uh, Elijah comes in. He's my seven-year-old grandson. And uh, he goes, oh, Papa, you're playing hockey. Because I will say this. It is a lot harder to play PS4 uh, with the finger like this. But I did. I am still winning. I'm playing at that, that amateur level. But I'm playing all the best teams on. And mine is NHL 18. And so, um, yes, I'm using the Blackhawks to play everyone else, and I'm doing really good. So, hey, that's pretty good. Um, one thing I will always say on Wednesday, on Wednesday, either you've been to church or go to church. Enjoy a Wednesday night Bible study. Ours is uh, in Genesis, and, man, we're just, uh, just now starting our, our study in Genesis. Um, Pastor Mark is leading that Bible study. I'm going to sit in it probably one more week, and then... Um, uh, do some other things within the in the church uh, for uh, other groups and so uh, man go to church hang out be a part of it uh, enjoy it and uh, uh, it is the Wednesday before election I will never tell you how to vote I would just say go out and vote uh, that way you um, can complain or you cannot complain however you want to look at it um, at least you did your part and voted. And can I say this before you vote? Um, pick up your booklet. Mine is out on the pulpit, actually, that tells us where to vote and how to vote. And and I always say, they always here in, in uh, L.A., they give us a huge uh, booklet on the proposition propositions and stuff. Um, be an informed voter. Take your own time. Don't listen to everybody else or all news programs. Take your own time. Read through the things. Pray about it. Make a, a, a conscious decision on your own to vote. And then you'll be really happy with yourself as you vote. So, yeah, go out and make sure you vote. Um, here in California, we can vote as of, what's today? I don't even know what the date is. But as of the 24th, we could start voting. So, yeah, so go out and vote and uh, be a part of this great nation. Hey, God bless everyone. Have a great evening.